Hey all, so very quickly I'm going to show you how to change a GIF into an image sequence like you see here. So just get rid of that. So what you want to do is find FFmpeg online. So just Google FFmpeg, click here, let's go to download, and just go to Windows, Windows Builds, and just find the stable version, so 4.1 in this case, and just download build. I'll cover what FFmpeg is at the end, I'm just going to show everyone really quickly here. So once you download that, you'll find a zip folder. Just uh, click on that and just extract all. You'll get this, just click into it. Go to bin and just ffmpeg.exe. We're just gonna copy this. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna paste it into the same folder as our GIF like I have here. So we can find a GIF online. Uh, you can just Google images, use Google images, just find one uh, and just right click hit save image and just make sure you have the extension as .gif and just save it into the same folder as your ffmpeg.exe. So what you want to do next is hold shift on your keyboard and right click in the middle of the folder and go to open command window here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to call up ffmpeg with ffmpeg that command there and then dash i to specify an input. Then we're going to call it harvey uh, GIF. Then what we want to do is specify it as an image sequence. So the generic one in this case is percent %d and it's going to output an image sequence starting from 1 onwards, however long it may be. And we're using the extension .png in this case and just hit enter. So as we see here we have four images. Let's just look at the GIF. That's what it is. And it's opening the images. So one two, three, four. All right, great. So how would we go the other way around? Well, let's open FFmpeg uh, command prompt, and then we'll call up FFmpeg again, FFmpeg dash I, and then for these image strips, it's the same command we use for the output. So the generic one in this case is percent %d, and then dot .png, because I have png as my extension here. And then I hit space, and then I specify an output. So in this case, I'm going to use harvey2.gif, and just enter again. And we have this, which is pretty much the same as this here. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of why you would use FFmpeg, um, FFmpeg, for anyone doesn't know, is a program that many other programs use to render things out. So um, Blender here, fairly well-known program, it actually uses FFmpeg to render stuff out. Um, Krita uses FFmpeg to render stuff out. That's 2D drawing program. Many freeware program and also some paid programs use FFmpeg to render stuff out. So it's not one of those sketchy programs you get randomly from online. This is used in many mainstream programs. So you can look into it a bit more on your own time. Like I wouldn't download anything from online just because it does what you need it to do type thing. But FFmpeg has a tons of other functions. Um, I'll put some of them in the description, but I'm gonna end the video about here. So thanks for your time. And I will do a full video on FFmpeg um, and specifically how it will complement Blender. So if you have any kind of editor, uh, video editor, um, this will apply as well, how to use FFmpeg to complement that video editor because the main benefit of FFmpeg is very, very fast render times. Uh, it's also very accurate at what it does, and it has a number of uh, features like filters. So as a sharpen command, it's very useful. It has an upscale command. Um, so you could actually upscale these into a larger image if I wanted to, and I could sharpen them as well. I'll put those commands in the description. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for your time. Bye.